New FASB rules are coming quickly, and this expert from Lease Plan USA recommends that fleet administrators discuss with their finance people in order to properly prepare. I am David Dom. I am the Chief Financial Officer of Lease Plan USA and been part of Lease Plan for 29 years now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my background is in finance, I'm a CPA. Uh, and I've been in the automotive fleet management industry now for almost 35 years. Yeah. I would love to give you an update on the changes in, in lease accounting and the new rules that have come out. It's been 12, maybe even 15 years in the making. I remember back in early 2000, uh, we were talking about it on the American Automotive Leasing Association meetings about upcoming changes to lease accounting and trying to get a harmonization between the U.S financial accounting standards boards and the international accounting standards board. And what the standards were, and they didn't achieve their objective of having convergence, but they did achieve more transparency uh, in terms of the leases now going back onto the balance sheet of the financial, uh, com of the companies that report uh, publicly. And these standards will come into effect in 2019, which as we sit here in early, early 2017, seems kind of far out there, but it's really not. From a U.S. perspective, you have to be ready sometime this year in 2017 because when you do publish these statements in the new format and the leases are on the balance sheet in 2019, when you do your compar comparable reporting from prior years, you're going to have to have it under the new standard format. So that's why companies have to get ready today uh, to begin understanding how to report their leases on the balance sheet. So here's what we're finding out today with these new standards and since they've been introduced last year. We have been trying to be very proactive with our fleet managers across the whole spectrum in the U.S. with, with all the fleet management companies, not just ours, but all the fleet management companies, to make sure they have awareness because they're not going to really understand the full impact of what that means for their company. They really have to rely on their finance teams within the companies to reach out to them to say, I understand we have leases on our books from a corporate fleet management perspective. What is the impact on the balance sheets? So I'm expecting as we move through the rest of this year, 2017, there will be more awareness. There will be folks on, the, on our client side finally picking up the phone and calling us and say, what do we need? What information can we provide? What we will do is we will ask them to engage their finance folks and even perhaps our outside auditing firms to have a dialogue with, with ourselves, with any of the fleet management companies, so we can understand how their auditing firms are interpreting the open end track lease, and then we can provide the information they need if they're going to put that back on the balance sheet, if they want to look at historical usage, if they want to look at you know, the value of the vehicle over their historical usage, then we need to provide them some, some data.